there and leave it alone. Jeremiah 1, verse 5. All y'all come from Judah. And guess what? They all against us. They all against the, 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 the other nations. We back on YouTube. All praise. Y'all all right. That's my brother right there. Get him a round of applause, man. Yes, sir. Clap your hand for yourself. So we back on YouTube, y'all. We sorry. They cut us out. I don't see it. I don't see it. It is showing. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I humble down. I stand down. We back. We we back, y'all. We back on the tool, man. That's right. Facebook never left us. Thank you, Facebook. Read again. No, now read Jeremiah 1. So the Cointel Pro was set up to, 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 to stop the rise of a Messiah, in particular a black Messiah. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet. He's saying, I ordained thee a prophet. The Lord sanctified Jeremiah and ordained him a prophet. Right? Skip down to verse um, 10. Verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pour down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. See that? To build and to plant. The Most High set the nation set the Israelites over the nations. The black man that everybody hate, the Lord set him over the nations to, to root out and to destroy, to pull down and to rebuild. We're going to rebuild this whole planet Earth with the word of God, with the power of the Son of God. That's you understand right. that? That's the way the Most High set it up. Now, give me the U.S. No, no, give me that. Give me the Denison's def definition. Let me show you what a Denison is because this is what we looked at in America. They have to treat us as denizens, not citizens. Why? Because we are those leaders. We're the ones the most high going to use to bring judgment. Now, watch this. Read. Denizen, an inhabitant or occupant of a particular place. Go ahead. Um, definition two. A foreigner allows certain rights in the adopted country. That's it. We only allow certain rights in this adopted country. I'm not talking about Northern Kingdom, who is already here, but even though they are the same. I'm talking about the, the, the brothers and sisters that was brought here as slaves. We are only allowed certain rights here. And, and this is an adopted country that we just, just say, okay, well, we're just going to stay. We, we, where are we going to go? We don't know where Africa we from. Our family don't remember us from over there. So that's what the Bible's going into, right? When the Bible says, hey, Lord, I'm going to have to use these people to root out and to pluck down the nations, right? Give me the Red Summer. It was a, a YouTube, the Red Summer. So during the time of the 1918, 1919, 1920, 1920, 1921, over 100 years ago, there was something called the Red Summer of 1919, right? And during that time, that's when Esau went about to destroy everything that we were building. He went about to destroy everything that we were building. Yeah. Global pandemic. Nurturing wounds from a brutal military victory abroad. Struggling to accommodate demobilized soldiers into a slumping economy fraught with heated competition for jobs. Jim Crow's separate but equal policies endorsed by the President of the United States himself, now firmly in place as the law of the land. White supremacists targeted terrorist attacks on an all too familiar scapegoat. In another epidemic, black citizens found themselves on the lethal end of an outbreak of racial violence in 1919, so horrific that the civil rights leader James Weldon Johnson called it the Red Summer. The events unfolding across the United States today in the wake of the brutal murder of George Floyd are an eerie repetition of events that marred the history of race relations in this country almost exactly a century ago. African-American soldiers returned from noble service in Europe during World War I, fully expecting that their sacrifices to their country would at long last entitle them to their full rights as equal citizens. Instead, the uniforms they wore literally became targets on their backs. W.E.B. Du Bois famously said that we return from fighting, um, we return fighting. 
We saved democracy overseas and we're gonna save it in the United States. That didn't happen. Between April and November of 1919, with the country devastated by an influenza pandemic known as the Spanish flu, racial unrest rolled through the South, the North and the Midwest, where the Great Migration was just unfolding in its earliest years. The migration, of course, had transformed large parts of the North and the West. In 1915, there were hardly a few black people in Chicago. By 1919, 1.2 million people have spread themselves across the map. That's pause. This demographic. That's why many of us have family in Chicago. You know, a lot of us say, oh, my cousin, then we're going to Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of us, did you ever do that? Yep. You had family in Chicago, you used to go visit in the summer. Same way with my wife, same way with me. We all did that, right? Because our family migrated from the South right, to go up there and establish something to take those factory jobs and so on and so forth, go up to Detroit. So a lot of those people are from Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, so on and so forth. So we were migrating to these areas to establish a little better life for ourselves, and we was able to do it. Black Wall Street, Mount Bayou, many other, Roadwood, many of these places, we were able to go and actually establish something for ourselves, right? Go ahead. Big transformation of the color of the urban north coupled with the stresses of a post-war economic downturn, combined to create the volatile conditions under which African-American workers conveniently became magnets for white resentment mm. and fear. The pushback was fierce. Chicago was wracked by fights along a dividing artery between one population and the other. Hundreds of people are dead. Cities are smoldering. Mm. It was one of the most vicious, virulent, and violent race riots in our nation's history. Small towns were also shaken by race-fueled violence. In Elaine, Arkansas, for example, white vigilantes joined plantation owners, sheriffs, deputies, and even state officials to battle what they called an uprising. Hundreds of black sharecroppers were murdered merely for trying to form a union. Yet in the aftermath, a grand jury callously indicted more than 100 black women and men Whoa, pause for their so-called... Hold up! Hold up! How you, try, how you come to destroy us because we want a union and some for ourselves, then we get arrested, bruh. We the enemies of the nation. We the enemy of the nation, bruh. Oh, you got something? Yeah, you can read it. Zechariah 11 and 5. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Read it out. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. The Bible says our possessors slay us, meaning our oppressors. They slay us and then they hold themselves not guilty. And we're the ones that get arrested. How that work? That, come on, bro. This is, you think God okay? You, give me that. Give me that. You know what I want. You know what sound bite I want. You think God is not going to hold you guilty for that? You, you, you really think God going to allow you to get away with that type? Because, you know, these same people are Christians. Those are Christians doing that. Like Bishop Nathaniel said, we got to stop calling them Ku Klux Klan. Those were Christians. Those, does they have the, what they call that thing? The, um, the, the dragon, what they call it? The dargon, the dagon. That, that's the same thing the Ku Klux Klan wears. That's the same thing that the priest was wearing. The Pope was wearing the same, that Dagon's the same thing. They was dressing themselves up as the Ku Klux Klan, the same thing. Those are Christian. That's what we went over last week in Roman Catholicism, how they forced that on us through them Papa Bulls. It's the same thing, the same spirit. They came in and destroyed our brothers, and they held themselves not guilty. Go ahead. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. You see that? I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not. That's what we, that's, that, bro, don't nobody, can't nobody else say that they've gone through the conditions that we've gone through. Hell no. You literally was released from slavery, start your own business, and when you start your own business and what's supposed to be democracy, poor white trash, city officials, government officials, of that same government that released you now puts you right back in bondage. The hell is this? Go ahead, Austin. I just want to say it's crazy because 
the reason why they one of the reason they did that was because like I said, we, when we was in slavery, we had all the skills. Right. So we, they couldn't allow us to start any unions. Well, right. Because we knew everything. They had to destroy all that to give them time to catch up. Right. Hey, how y'all do this? How y'all make that? Let me yep. take this adventure from you. Let me take this pattern. And That's why they integrated us. Right. That's, That's where integration comes from. Because integration means I can pay you low wages and take your idea. They said a white man ain't never created nothing but a what? A patent house. Hey, you know, in the spirit, got one more thing. They... I also heard a saying, and it, it's ringing true. They said uh, Jackie Robinson did more for segregation than Martin Luther King could ever do in 30 years. Damn. Because when he got in baseball, they brought everybody together. Mm. And guess what? All the money went back to the oppressor. At right back to the oppressor, because the oppressor owned those teams. He said these Negroes down there make, hit 900 home runs. What the hell? Bring that dude to the damn big leagues, man. For real. Hey, give me that Amos 1 and 9. One eleven, excuse me. The book of Amos, chapter 1 and verse 11. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and kept his wrath forever. It said his anger did tear perpetually. Go back to that video. It said his anger did tear perpetually and his wrath, and he kept his wrath forever. Go back by 10 seconds, 20 seconds, if you can. Yeah, right there. Even state officials to battle what they called an uprising. Hundreds of black sharecroppers were murdered merely for trying to form a union. Yet in the aftermath, a grand jury callously indicted more than 100 black women and men for their so-called crimes. Of course, racial violence was anything but new in the America of that time. Still, amid the fallout from the Great War, the rising generation calling themselves new Negroes was not about to fold their tents. Instead, Red Summer saw black Americans not only picking up arms to defend themselves, but also utilizing political organizations like that, the NAACP. That's, that's Judah rising and crouching down as a lion. That's what that is. We crouch down as lions. Go ahead. Challenge the violence in Congress, in the courts, in the media, and on the streets. In If We Must Die, the poet Claude McKay captured the tenor of the times in his immortal call for defiance in the face of tyranny and terror. What though before us lies the open grave? Like men will face the murderous, cowardly pack, pressed to the wall, dying, but fighting back. Hey. You have a scripture? You have a scripture? Okay, give me the next one. Footage of the pro uh, prosperous Greenwood. The Tulsa, Oklahoma massacre. Because we was in Tulsa, Oklahoma this past Sabbath for their grand open. And we had a chance to see Black Wall Street. We went on a, t a really good tour. Um, the, the tour guys were very insightful, very charismatic, had a lot to say. We learned a ton. Bishops and the deacons, um, they were pissed. I was pissed. Captain O'Shea, everybody was pissed off when we saw that. Now, bro, Black Wall Street is completely gentrified. It ain't nothing but white folks jogging on Black Wall Street right now. Got their own businesses on Black Wall Street, their own restaurants, their own hotels. You know we had hotels on Black Wall Street. They burned ours down and put theirs up. You can't make this up. And 100 years after, they found a mass grave of 27 people. A mass grave from the, from the plantation or from uh, what they did to us on there. Show that. Can you show that video? Play it. It's a short video. It ain't too long. Yes. It's the Roaring Twenties. The country is flourishing. Some African-American communities are prospering, like the residents of Greenwood in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Pause it, pause it. 
go back to that image real quick for me. All right, look at this. So uh, let, let it play so it can show the car pass back. All right, pause it right there. So you see hotel, you see drug stores, you see movie theaters, you see uh, laundry mats, you see uh, apartment complexes, you see uh, restaurants, bars, uh, clubs, all that. Matter of fact, there's a picture that I took that I took of a plaque. It's a big black plaque. Can you find that picture for me? It should be in the folder with the Tulsa. Not in not in that part. In the in the last folder, I think we had a Tulsa. Let me show you. Yeah, it should be in that last folder. It's a picture of um of a black plaque. It's a big old black placard that they got that is made out of marble and it's got engravings on it. Right? See if you can find that for me. Because you saw all those businesses we had, right? <clears throat> They go even deeper, bro. We had a lot of great businesses on there. It should be over on that right-hand side. It's a, it's a placard. It's got a whole bunch of um, names and stuff. There it is right there. Yeah, show that for me. Yes. Now, it says uh, uh, co uh, commercial destruction during the 1921 race war, race war, right? Place a headstone at this site of your victory. It's my, my mic messing up a little bit. All right, so zoom in for me. If you can, can you zoom in on that? I want to show you some of these businesses that we can read it clearly. Zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, go to, now go to the left. Let's see the top left-hand corner. All right. Um, pull us down. So read some of those. A.J. Douglas Barbershop. A.J. Smitherman, Tulsa Star Newspaper. So we had barbershops, newspaper. Abby Funchy, tailoring. We had a tailor shop. Albert H.O., Printing. We had our own printing shop. Anderson and Pearson Grocery. We had grocery stores. Anderson Jewelers. We had jewelry stores. A.S. Newkirk Photographer. We had photographers. Attorney B.C. Franklin. We had attorneys. We had, we was great, bro. Just just jump around, just whatever. Just B&B &B Restaurants. We had restaurants. Banks Grocery. We had Banks Grocery Store. Barney Cleaver Properties. We had real estate. And we had real estate brokers. Go ahead. Commodore Knott's Cotton Club. <laughs> Go ahead. We had a club. Go ahead. Copper Smith Laundry. Laundry mat. Cox Grocery. Another grocery. We had 22 grocery stores, by the way. Davis Gas Station. We had a gas station. Dillard's Shoe Shine Parlor. Go down. Dixie Theater. Go down to the next placard. Yeah, go down there. You got uh, Dora Wells Garment Factory. We, we made garments. Uh, Blue Goose Tailoring Company. Wow. Uh, Brothers Pastry. Uh, Burnett Building. Burnett Bert, Burton Scarborough Tailoring Company. Look at all those doctors. You made it. Dr. L. N. Neal, Dr. A. C. Jackson, Dr. A. J. Whitley, Dr. A. F. Bryant Building, Dr. B. F. Smith, Dr. B. A. Wayne, Dr. C. B. Wickham, Dr. C. E. Smith, Dr. F. M. Napier, that might be Levi right there, Dr. G. G. Patrick, Dr. H. J. Watson, Dr. J. F. Wells, Dr. James Key, Dr. P. J. Travis, Dr. R. R. Robinson. I mean, the list go on and on, man. We was a great people. And the brother, the tour guide made mention, most of these people were first generation freed people. So many of them couldn't read or write. They taught themselves to be able to work on one accord. The poor white trash Edomites got angry and bombed it down. Go back to the video. We are self-sufficient people. We the greatest people on the planet, bro. That's right. Who else can come out of the extreme conditions of slavery and still be great like that? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 while he's waiting on the video to come up. Who like unto the nation of Israel? Who like unto the black man? That was a black man that started that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Read it out. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, you are a holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. And God chose you. And particularly he chose the tribe of Judah to lead you. Read. To be a special people unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. Himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Nobody can go to the, through the extreme conditions that we had to endure. 
during slavery, then post-slavery go fight in the war for this nation, and they still kill you, try to murder you, want to take everything from you, and we still able to create what we was able to create in Black Wall Street, bro. You can't tell me we ain't the greatest. Go ahead. The Lord did not set his law. No, no, I'm talking about the uh, the video. Yeah, you good. A remarkable Baptist pastor named Solomon Sir Jones Solomon Sir is the Jones. pioneering filmmaker. His footage was lost for more than 50 years. It went lost with Jones he. captures the bustling life of Greenwood, which could be any American small town. But Tulsa's whites don't like what they see. In May 1921, after a black man is accused of assaulting a white woman, a white mob rampages through the city. For a night and a day, they loot and burn Greenwood. A Fox News crew captures the only surviving footage. It is the bloodiest racial massacre in American history leaving nearly 300 dead. Pause. You know it's more than 300 because they just found 27 bodies in a mass grave right outside the area. And the Edomites trying to say, oh, we don't know for sure if that came from the, the massacre of Black Wall Street. Huh? You, know, you know the Edomites out there call it a race riot. They, 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 they refuse to call it a massacre. They said, we didn't massacre them. It was a race riot. It was two races fighting. No. You dropped dynamite on us. Now, you remember... I think in 1903 was when the first plane was made. So within 20 years, they have perfected how to make that. They had World War bombers. You can't tell me that they didn't have World War I bombers involved in this. Them same people that fought in the war with America, they brought the bombers over here to bomb them. That's exactly what happened. You can't tell me nothing, nothing more. And the Most High got it recorded in the scriptures that they would do that. Give me that in Psalms 137, verse 7. It's in the Bible that they always was jealous and envious of what we had, and they always wanted to destroy it. Watch this. Psalm 131, verse 7. I mean, 137, verse 7. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 137, and verse 7. Read it out. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem. So the children of Edom are the so-called white man. Esau, according to the Bible, he is the children of Edom, right? Edom has hatred for the nation of Israel perpetually, and his wrath did endure forever. Go ahead. Who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. That same spirit they had during the time of Babylon, when they, when they got hand in hand with the Babylonians to destroy our land, is the most I said Esau was there. Esau said, race it, that means destroy it, destroy it, even to the foundation thereof. That's the same thing they did right there. When they saw us flourishing, when they saw we had some for ourselves, they hated it and they wanted it to be destroyed. It's the same spirit. Go ahead. Yes. Verse 8. O daughter of Babylon. We, what do you call them? O daughter of Babylon. That's why we say when Babylon the great, who's the ruler? It is Edom. Right? Go ahead. Who ought to be destroyed. Who ought to be destroyed. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee. As thou hast served us. The Most High said he going to reward them as they have served us. They going to get a judgment like none other. Just wait on it. You think Go God ahead. is not going to hold you guilty for that? Go ahead. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. That's going to be the judgment from God. God going to take their little ones and dash them against the stones. That's right. Give me that in Obadiah 1, verse 10. Obadiah 1, verse 10. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, Obadiah, verse 10. Bring For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. God going to cut him off forever. Go ahead. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou wast as one of them. That's why he called him the daughter of Babylon. Because they was with Babylon in the destruction. Saying, race it, race it. Give me first Edges 4, uh, 4 and 45. It's going to say the same thing. This history going to line up. 
So the same spirit they had during the time of Black Wall Street to destroy what we built was already in them from the past. The issue is we have not learned the Bible. When you learn the Bible, you see the attributes of this man, that he's a destructive man. He's a murderer. He's a killer. And anything that the Most High put or get, allows the nation of Israel to put in place, he destroys it. Bring it out. Read. The book of 1st Ezra, chapter 4 and verse 45. Bring it out. Thou also hast vowed to build up the temple, which the Edomites burnt when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. So who burned down the temple? Which the Edomites burnt when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. You, you brothers and sisters still trust this man? And this man has shown you time and time again, historically, even up to today, that anything you build, he is against. He's only allowing you to do it when you serve his agenda. When you black women serve his agenda, when you Hebrew Israelites serve his agenda, when you uh, Christian church members destroy his, uh, 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 go further his agenda, that's the only time he behind you. That's the only time he funds you. He only allow you to destroy your own. That's it. He not allowing you to destroy anything he built. That's why he against the Israelite movement. Because we literally rebuilding what they have destroyed. That's right. Through the power of the Son of God. Through the power of the Most High. You understand that? And y'all brothers and sisters better get on board and get on side of this and stop following your oppressor. Because everything you try to do, he want to destroy. Show me some of them, them pictures of the horrific things he did to us. We saw where he bombed Black Wall Street. We heard about Red Summer when they would just go throughout various black communities and just kill people. Look at that. That's Eric Gardner, right? Loose cigarette. Choke to death. Go ahead. Emmett Till. They killed him in Money, Mississippi. Down here visiting family members from Chicago. Go ahead. This was inside the Tulsa um, the museum on Black Wall Street that we went to. That's where the term blackmail come from. You understand? Go ahead. And what is a blackmail to do when you snitch on somebody? Or when you uh, um, use something against someone. That's what they did in Tulsa. That's, that's, that's the, the map of, of, of uh, Greenwood Avenue and, uh, and, and, and Black Wall Street. That was the, it was 40 blocks, I believe. They make it, make it look small, but it was 40 blocks. It was very, we had 80 acres all together. Go ahead. Look, Little Africa on fire. You see what they call Tulsa? Little Africa. Making a mockery of us. Zoom in on that. Who is that in the middle? What is that right there? Go down. The Christians. Your Christian Edomite man. Look at that. Little niggas, ten little niggas. Go up. This all, these are all pictures from inside the museum. Ten little niggas. Go to the next picture. These are different placards that show who it was that owned this particular building, right? So this is just one of the placards of one of the owners of the building. See, it said, killed in the riot. He was killed in the, the massacre in 1921. Go ahead. Look at this. Mercy, a detained Greenwood citizen. Remember, we weren't citizens. We were denizens. During the 1921 Tulsa race massacre, what was he being detained for? Having his own business? Having his own life? Building something for his people? Everybody hate us, man. His hands up, don't shoot. Hands up now. Damn. And 100 years later, in 2021. Go ahead. Negroes, beware. Do not attend any communist meetings. Now, communist meetings will be someone that will be furthering the agenda to uh, uh, a simp or give us rights, equal rights. They call that communism. Anybody that was against the laws of America at that particular time, which laws said we couldn't eat, drink, and they rest couldn't eat, they eat in their restaurants, we couldn't use their restrooms, we couldn't drink from their water fountains. All right, zoom in on that a little further. It said the Ku Klux Klan is watching you. Take heed. So it said the Christians watching y'all niggas. Pay organizers for the communists are only trying to get Negroes in trouble. Alabama is a good place for good Negroes to live in, but it is a bad place for Negroes who believe in social equality. You see this? Them your judges today, them your uh, police chiefs today, your sheriffs today in these backwoods, 
Same, they, the, they the sons of these same people. That's why God said prepare slaughter for their children. Yes, sir. Tell the communist leaders to leave something. I can, I, go ahead. Tell the communist leaders to leave. Report all communist meetings to the Ku Klux Klan. Damn. Go ahead. Look at that. That soap supposed to wash the black off of you. Now, black women do that right now. And black men like Sammy Sosa do that same thing right now. Hate your skin. Go ahead. This is a news article from the other day. A sister that owns a store on the um, on Black Wall Street. She gave us this article. It says mass grave, 21, 27 remains found in a mass grave. And the Edomites there saying, oh, no, that didn't come from Black Wall Street. That had to be from the Red Summer of 1919, something that happened before. No, that happened from Black Wall Street. We know it did because the Most High done revealed it to us. We ain't dummies. We know exactly what y'all do, right? Give me Obadiah 1, verse 21. So hated by man, beloved of God, beloved of the Father. We've been proving all day that the Most High loved this black man, the Israelite man, the Israelite man of the uh, northern and southern kingdom. In particular, the tribe of Judah is the leader. Watch That's this. right. Obadiah 21. Obadiah 21. Bring it up. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. So the Most High going to bring saviors upon Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. Show me the picture of the saviors. You know I won't. Show me the pictures of the saviors that's going to come up on Mount Zion. You're looking at them. Every time you watch an IUIC video, every time you see these brothers going out and laboring, because there's other camps that go out and labor. We ain't against the brothers. They putting in work. You putting in work for the Most High. You ain't slandering your people. You love your neighbor. You building up, the, trying to build up the kingdom. We, for all, we all for that. Look at that. IUIC teaching on the same street where we were bombed 100 years ago. Them your saviors. Go ahead. Captain Hoshiah brought that fire this past Sabbath. Them your saviors. Go ahead. Right in front of and the, and the store was closed down. Captain Hoshiah bringing out the word with the brothers. Go ahead. Captain Young, myself, we was out there, said IUIC teaching on the same street where we were bombed 100 years ago. All praises to the most high. Right down the same street. Who would have thought that, bro? Who would have thought the same people that they talk noise about that they hate are going to be the same people that's going to save the nation of Israel through the power of the Son of God? Go ahead. Tulsa Massacre of 1921. Tulsa meet the prophets in 2021. Damn. Most high cold with the most high. So I'm going to mock them. I'm going to say, give me that in Psalm 50. I'm going to set them in order before your eyes. Because that whole time we was teaching, it was Edomites walking up and down the street, riding their bicycles, snicking at us, making fun of us. And a lot of the, some of the black people were afraid to approach. But a lot of the brothers and sisters, they did approach. They came to talk to us. They came to hear the word of God, all praises. Go ahead. Start at verse, uh, no, Psalms chapter 50, read verse 20 and 21. The book of Psalms chapter 50 and verse 20. Bring it Thou up. sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. You see how they slandered us? Go ahead. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Though thou, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. You hear that? The Lord said he's going to set us in order before thine eyes. When we came out there, we saw, they saw us. They saw the men of God on fly mission, teaching that camp on a loudspeaker. That's in right. In front of everybody to teach the word of the Most High. We ain't backing down enough. We're going to teach this gospel. We know what we're a part of. The Bible said the Lord going to raise up saviors for the nation of Israel, and they're going to judge the Mount of Esau for the evil they've done against God's people. Go ahead. You finish that out? Go ahead. Yes, sir. Verse 22. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. The Bible says, now consider this, ye that forget God. They done forgot the Lord. They, done th they think God is as themselves. Yeah, pull that picture up right there of that mural. This is a mural, brother, uh, brother painted. Man, that thing ain't dope. Look at that. That's what was going on. That's the type of traumatic things that was going on during that time. Black men killed. Black woman suffering. Hey, I got another picture I want you to show. Go ahead. One of y'all bring out something. Anybody, go ahead. Bring it out. 
let me, yeah, let me bring out uh let me bring out Jeremiah fifty and six right quick. For a lot of for a lot of new people, because I know it's a lot of new people listening. I, I want to get something clear right here. Just read that right quick in uh, Jeremiah fifty and six. Yes, sir. The book of Jeremiah, chapter fifty and verse six. Read it out. Uh, 50 and verse 6. Bring it out. My people have been lost sheep. Hold it right there. It says, my people have been lost sheep. So I know a lot of us get confused, especially the new people. When it says, my people have been lost sheep, we think when we think of my people, hold it right there. Get Matthew 2, two and 6 right quick. Let's clear it up about my people. Because, like I said, we got new people, and we, you know, they're going to they gonna be confused if we don't do this sometime. Go ahead and read that. The book of Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. Bring it out. And thou Bethlehem. And the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. My people Israel. That governor is Christ. He's going to rule my people Israel. Let's go back. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 6. Read it out. My people have been lost sheep. We have been lost sheep. Read. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Our shepherds have caused us to go astray. We're talking about like your T.D. Jakes, your Creflo Dollars, the pastors that I grew up going to, churches I went to, some of my family still go to. These people have, have, have taken us astray. We are lost sheep. We got to come back to who we are. That's what I'm going to do. And I pray that you do it. Read on. They have turned them away on the mountains. It said turned us away on the mountains. Turned us away. When we, go, when we go into the mountains, we're talking about up, up on high. Israel is in the top of the mountains. Read. They have gone from mountain to hill. To and hill. Those, those mountains is also going into idolatry. Going okay. into idolatry as well. Yep. All praises. Go ahead. Into, into hills. Go ahead. They have forgotten their resting place. We have forgotten our resting place. This Bible is our resting place. Right. And the knowledge of it. That's all I got. That's right. Get Ezekiel 25, 12. So the most I'm going to bring saviors upon Mount Zion. And they're going to judge Esau. That's right. And the other nations that have destroyed our people. You ain't getting away. Nobody gets away. Yep. The book of Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 12. Bring it out. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. It said, thus saith the Lord God, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Go ahead. He revenged himself. He took it out on us. When he bombed Black Wall Street, he took out the fact that he messed up. He I mean, I say messed up, meaning he allowed us to leave slavery. He like, damn, we shouldn't let these Negroes go. They were doing all the work for us. Now I actually got to work, Billy Bob. Hell no, destroy what they got. Make them integrate with us. Go ahead. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Since you did that, read. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. God said he's going to stretch out his hand upon you. Go ahead. And will cut off man and beast from and it. And he's going to cut off man and beast from it. Go ahead. And I will make it desolate from Taman. Read. And they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. Read. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. He said he's going to lay his vengeance upon Edom. Read. By the hand of my people Israel. By who? By the hand of my people Israel. When the Most High give us that angelic, immortal, angelic, immortal body, we're going to destroy the nations. Thus saith the Lord. He said, I'm going to do it by the hand of the Israelites. Go That's ahead. right. And they shall do. It ain't going to be by you sisters. It's going to be by the black man. Yeah. The Israelite sir. man. Go ahead. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. And the Lord, the Lord going to have to show us all the evil they've done to us. He's going to have to put us there in person so we can literally see it. We're going to have to see it with our own eyes so we can be enraged and we're going to have his anger upon us. And it's over. You're done. Go ahead. And according to my fury. And according to God's fury. So you ain't never been mad like God been mad. Trust and believe that. His anger way above ours. Read. And they shall know my vengeance Sayeth the Lord and God. And they don't know God's vengeance, saith the Lord. All praises to the Most High God. All praises to the That's Most High right. God. Hey, so with that, I know they shut us down in the middle of the class. Y'all catching the tail end of it. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0. <laughs> Want to give a shout out to our tech team. They did pretty good today. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all did real good today. 
All praise to the Most High. Officer Malachi and his team, Soldier Alicia, Soldier Baruch. All praise to the Most High. Soldier Matthew on the camera. Appreciate y'all, mighty men. I'm um, Captain Gedaliah to my right. Officer Zacchaeus. To my far right. Officer Hosanna. And to my left. Soldier John. Let's read that real quick, Soldier. Yes, sir. To help the prophets of the Lord spread this gospel to the Israelites scattered to the four corners, you can send funds to the Booster Club at iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org on PayPal. Also, to help Cap Captain Gadaliah and the rest of the Escaping the Plantation 2.0 help our people escape the plantation, you can send funds to iuic.jacksonms at israelunite.org, all on PayPal. All praises. Hey, so I hope y'all got a lot from that. Hated by man, beloved of the Father. All right, so with that, that's another edition of Escaping the Plantation 2.0. <laughs> We live. You are now flying. Cold with a script like a movie shot in Maine. Huh. We'll move fast and get higher than a plane. I be in a garment, leave a suit for a lane. Tell them move they feet fast, throw your hands like you praying. I say dripping in my garment, dripping in my garment. I be dripping in my garment, dripping in my garment. I be dripping in my garment, dripping in my garment. Push my boots strapped up like I'm moving with an army. I be dripping in my garment, dripping in my garment.